Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom tool. Now I'm going to show you how to make a pickaxe, but the rest should be fairly the same, so it should be fairly easy to make a spade and that. Um, so I have already set up the strings and the configuration file, so if you haven't done that you might want to pause the video for a second. But I'm going to start right now. So what I want to do first is make an item called um, pickaxe top. Uh, let's say item top pickaxe. Okay, so that item top pickaxe is gonna be new item top pickaxe. What we want to do here is give it two things. First one is a ID, so I use item IDs dot item top pickaxe and as I said before I have already set that up so it shouldn't give me any errors for now um, and what I need as well is a tool material now I'm gonna show you how to make a custom tool material you can always use the normal vanilla tool materials by using enum tool material dot and choose your material but that's no fun so what we want to do is go a little bit up and say public static enum tool material top tool material okay so that top tool material is going to be equal to enum helper dot add tool material so we need to give it a bunch of things. First one is the string name, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, top tool material. Harvest level, that's a little bit hard. Um, there are three levels which Minecraft uses, which is wood, stone, iron, and diamond. So that makes four. One, uh, sorry, zero being the lowest level being wood, one being stone, two being iron, and three being diamond. So I want to make my pickaxe mine the same things as a diamond pickaxe. So now I should be able to mine obsidian. Now the max users is, well, it's very easy to see what it is. That's the max users you can have. So I'm going to say 500. I don't want it to break very quickly. Now the efficiency is a float. It's not going to be an integer, but it's going to be a float. So just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to use 15 so you can see that it mines really fast. Damage is the damage versus an entity. So when you hit a skeleton, how much damage should it give? I don't know what that number should be. So two looks like a good number. Same for counts for enchantability. Just put something down. So let's import enum tool material to fix those annoying errors. And what we want to say, what we want to give item top pickaxe is top tool material, just like that. Now it's going to give us an error, of course, because that class doesn't exist yet. So create that. And first thing you want to change is it extends item pickaxe, just like that. Now we need to create that missing constructor. So let's add that, delete this because that is a little bit not necessary. Okay, so as you could see, I need an integer and a tool material. I'm gonna pass that right up to the item pickaxe class. So if you wanna make a spade, it is pretty much the same. The only thing you have to change is extend item spade instead of item pickaxe. So I'm pretty sure you can do that. Now I just want to set the unlocalized name really quick. That's uh, item top pickaxe, and this dot set creative tab top dot tab top. And what else do I need? Nothing. So save that, run that. And let's see how it goes. And as you can see right here, it is already trying to register the texture, but that doesn't exist yet. If you want, you can add that. But for now, I can live with no pickaxe, with no texture. So it's going to build the terrain, and we just have to wait a few seconds before I can show you that it actually works. So let's go straight to game mode. Creative. 
because I'm in the middle of an ocean. Here we go. So let's get some coal, some iron, some gold, some diamonds, and some obsidian. Let's see if an, our pickaxe is in. There we go, top pickaxe, just as expected. So some coal, some iron, some gold, some diamond, some obsidian. So, okay, yeah, that was pretty stupid. Game mode, survival me. And as you can see, I cannot mine this stuff with my hand, as you would expect. But if I use my pickaxe, there we go. Extremely fast. Now, of course, it's going to take a little bit longer for the obsidian because, yeah, it is obsidian. But I guess you know, I guess you can see that it works. It drops the ores. You can mine it really fast. It has uh, a durability, so it will die if you use it too often. And yeah, that's it. So this was my tutorial and I'll see you next time. Okay, so one more thing I want to show you is that I can actually enchant it. So if you put your pickaxe in and you just click, it can have a um, enchantment. So that's how you do a enchantment as well. So that's really easy to do. And I hope I'll see you next time. This was my tutorial. I'll see you next time.